In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the comparison feature when you're working on a shared project in the storyboard. Users have the tools to keep track of iterations, compare their own work with others, so they can work efficiently and stay organized as the project's developed. I'm going to start out by checking out a project from the SVN, make some changes to it, and then run a comparison. So here in the SVN repository view, I'm going to select a project and check it out in my workspace where I'm going to start to make these changes. The name of this project is called Storyboard, and there might be several people working on this project from different locations, but the copy that I've checked out is only going to be worked on by me. So if I get back into my Storyboard view, I can see that the project is now in my workspace. If I open up this GDE file, we'll take a look at what we're working with and it looks fairly straightforward. We've got a logo, some text, and a background color. So I'll just start making some changes. This black background, I'm gonna add a fill to it, and I'm gonna change the black to white, and that's gonna take out some of our text. So I'll take the text, and I'm gonna change it from white to black, and our logo needs to be adjusted as well. We can see that the logo is green and white, and the white doesn't show, so we'll add a new image to our image directory for the green and black version of the logo, and there it is. So now I'll just change the path from the green-white logo to the green-black logo. So there we are, three quick changes. Now I'm going to save my work, and then I'm going to select the GDE file and run a comparison. So I'll right-click, go to the Compare With, and choose latest from repository. And what's going to do here is give me a side-by-side -side view of the copy that I've got in my workspace and it's going to compare it to the project that's in the repository, which is what we checked out. Before we go any further, I want to talk about some of the comparison tools. There's a graphical comparison view that can be toggled on and off and the number of changes are shown and broken down into what type of content they're associated with. There's also a toggle to show all of the properties in the application and only the properties that have been changed. And the last four icons offer a comprehensive amount of control. A user can select individual properties from either model in the comparison and apply them to the compared model. Properties can be picked one at a time or all at once. So if I expand the view, we see a list of the project's contents and properties. Every control, every render extension, and all of their characteristics are being compared to one another. So the areas that are grayed out are parts of the project where no changes have been made. And any part here that can be selected indicates a property that has been changed. Here we can see three changes that have occurred on one layer. And we can see the difference between the two. A different background and logo, as well as a change to a text attribute. Next up, what I'm going to do is take this updated version of the application and commit it to the repository. When I do this, I'll add a comment that says there's a new background and a new logo, then hit OK. Now what I want to show you is what happens when you do a comparison and our local file in the workspace is not up to date with the head version in the repository. So we've checked our project into the repository, but since then Another user has worked on the project. For this scenario, we can think of this second project here in our workspace as a project that another user has been working with when they've added an animation and also committed their project to the repository. If I wanted to include these animations that were added by someone else, but also want to keep my layout changes as well, I need to be able to compare content so I can pick and choose how the project moves forward. So now we're going to take a look at different ways changes can be made in the comparison view. When content gets added to a project or when it gets taken out of a project, those are two types of change. Another change can be a delta change, and this is when content remains, but a property has been changed, like switching to a new color or adjusting the opacity. With project comparisons, there can also be changes that are conflicts. If two users have both changed the same content, but they both differ from one another, a conflict exists that would need to be resolved. So here, we've got a second project member who's been working on the project from another location, and they've added an animation to the project and committed their changes to the repository. Back to the project that we've started with, it hasn't been worked on since it was checked into the repository, so in its current state, it's not gonna have any animations. But for right now, let's just 
make a few more changes to the layout in our project. First, I'm gonna add a bar and I'm gonna make it the same color of green that the logo is. And I'm gonna put it at the bottom of the application at full width. With that in place, I'm gonna include a text render extension and add our website. So here's our text and I'm gonna increase the size of the type a little bit. And now we'll add our website for cranksoftware.com. With that taken care of, I'm going to save the project and then synchronize with the repository. In the Workspace Navigator, if I select the project folder with a right click, I have the option to select Team and then choose Synchronize with Repository. In the Synchronize view, our project shows that a conflict exists. If I open the GDE file from this window, I'm given the Comparison view, which shows me the differences that exist between the two projects. I'm going to toggle the view to only show properties that are different from one another. The local project has added the green bar with the website, and the file in the repository has the animation and some other changes. I can select the animation from the repository and copy it to the left using the comparison view tools that we talked about earlier. Now that the animation is identical in both projects, it'll be removed from the list of content that's different. Since I can pick and choose what content and properties I want to have in my local project, I'm able to include work from another user into the file I'm working with. As more content becomes identical between both locations, our list of differences will become less. And with these tools in place, I can create a complete project from different pieces of a collaborative effort. When I'm done, we can save the changes, now that our project has the local changes that were made, and the content from the repository that we copied to our project, and we can select our project with a right click and choose the option to mark as merged. This action will take the content that's coming from multiple sources and merge them together. In doing so, the editor window for the project may have to be closed and then reopened in order to show certain changes properly. When the merge is complete, the project can be selected and then committed to the repository. So that's how to collaborate, compare, and merge content with Storyboard Suite. Come and see what Storyboard can do for you. Try the 30-day trial for free at cranksoftware.com.